Hello, Namaskar. This is P.V. Sudarshan from the Department of Chemistry, St. Joseph Pre-University College, sharing with you some of the valuable inputs to help you assess and grade yourself better in the coming CET examination. I am here again to share with you some of the valuable inputs of P-block elements. I have categorically categorized this subject and this topic into three segments. In the first segment, we'll be talking about the oxidation state, hybridization. In the second segment, we'll be talking about the trends. In the third segment, we'll be talking about chemical properties and then the relevant important that need to be assessed in this chapter. Let me go ahead. As you all are aware that P-block elements, one of the widely known topic to be the best for the students to score maximum marks in the annual examination. This is also one of the chapter you need to put in lots of efforts to get maximum reward in your CT examination. So what, what is that that I'm trying to tell you all is how to prepare this P-block elements. This is a chapter that will help you if at all if you have little bit love towards the chemical reaction. So let me start off with the first segment of today's session that is how to find the oxidation state and believe me this is one of the question which has been asked plentiful times plentiful times in various papers therefore I thought this would help us to do better in the first question that I'm going to discuss with you I have what is the oxidation state of nitrogen in N2O NO and NO2 you all are aware in the first year PUC you have studied redox reactions. In redox reactions you have studied how to calculate the oxidation state. But in this the synapse that I want to give you all is nitrogen the first element of group 15. In this nitrogen we know that the oxidation state of nitrogen ranges from minus 3 to plus 5. The highest oxidation state being plus 5. The highest oxidation state being plus 5. Under this, I would like to tell that if I happen to work this numerical, I have N2O, I have NO, I have NO2 and we know that it has to fit in into this category called minus 3 to plus 5. Let me work this numerical with you and I'll be really fast in helping you out in assessing this. If I happen to take the numerical N2O which is being devised in the question, you know how to calculate it. I will be calculating it as the unknown factor here is nitrogen. Therefore, the most probable and frequent oxidation state of uh, oxygen is minus 2. Therefore, minus 2 is equal to 0. 2x is equal to 2. Therefore, x is equal to 1. I understand that nitrous oxide oxidation state is equal to plus 1. One more tip I am trying to give you here is whenever we assess do not try to look in for all the options look in one of the option which carries the reward for example in this question i have n2o which is showing plus one and i don't have anywhere in the option other than the first option which gives me plus one in the first position therefore the most relevant answer would be and the most appropriate answer would be the first one i complete the question again NO which is nitric oxide if I want to find it out NO X minus 2 is equal to 0 X is equal to plus 2 yes matching and working to my standards hope you have understood this numerical dear students I hope you have understood the first question and as I'm talking to you you would have started working on the second question Let's apply the same principles that we have adopted for the first question. In calculating the oxidation state of phosphorus in the given oxy acids of phosphorus. So you are very well aware for H4P2O5, I work it in this fashion where hydrogen, I know that the oxidation state of hydrogen is 1. Therefore, 1 into 4 is 4. I need to calculate the oxidation state of phosphorus. Therefore, I write it as 2x plus Oxygen, I am aware that it is minus 2. Therefore, 5 into minus 2 happens to be minus 10. Therefore, 2x is equal to 6. x is equal to 3. Going by the logic that I have devised to you for the previous problem, where I had said that if you happen to find the first answer, look in for the options where probably you have the answer. 
in this I understand that plus 3 is the answer for the first one uh, H4 P2 O5 and this plus 3 appears only in option D therefore without making a second thought or a second attempt please go for it therefore it is plus 3 plus 4 and plus 5 you can verify it later. My dear students, believe it once again that success in CET only depends on your hard work and the skills that you adapt. It's not how much time you take to solve a numerical, but how fast you're able to judge with the relevant answer that brings a prominent change. Let's go into the third question. This third question is very important for me. Again, why am I discussing this is we adapt the same principle that we have adapted for the first question and the second question. For example, I am reading the question for you again. Oxidation state of sulphur in Caro's acid and Marshall's acid is. This comes under group 16, oxy acids of sulphur. This question is relevant because these are the only two oxy acids which have got an exceptional case. Caro's acid and Marshall's acid, they are read as peroxomonosulfuric acid, peroxodisulfuric acid. This Caro's acid and Marshall's acid, if I happen to give the formula for you, Caro's acid, the formula is H2SO5, while for Marshall's acid, it is H2S2O8. Now, going by all probability, if you happen to calculate the oxidation state of sulfur in Caro's acid and in Marshall's acid, you will land up getting the answer as plus 8 and plus 7. But by all probability, this is wrong. What I want to say is this is a special case. And why it is a special case is because these two have got per oxy linkage and therefore try to get this direct into your head. Caro's acid, Marshall's acid, oxidation state of sulfur is plus 6 and plus 6 only. No doubt that when you calculate by the oxidation state methodology, you land up getting plus 8 and plus 7. Therefore, don't be fooled by the option, but kindly go with this, that is plus 6 and plus 6 only. I would like to repeat this once again. Caro's acid H2SO5 is read as peroxomonosulfuric acid, whereas Marshall's acid peroxodisulfuric acid. Going on to the third one, oxidation state and hybridization of the central atom of hydrides of group 15. You all are aware what are group 15. Group 15 is nitrogen family. Nitrogen family is also known as nicogens. Understandably that they are all pungent in odor. All elements of group 15, all elements of group 15 undergo reaction with hydrogen to form hydrides of the type, I would like to mention this, undergo reaction with hydrogen to form hydrides of the type EH3, understanding that my E happens to be the element. Under this, EH3, hydride, NH3, ammonia, PH3, phosphine, ASH3 and so on as I move down the group. In all these cases, the oxidation state of the central element happens to be minus 3. Work it out. You have NH3, X, X is for nitrogen, X plus 3 into 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, X is equal to minus 3, understanding that the central atom in hydrides of group 15, oxidation state of it is minus 3 and the hybridized state of it is sp3. I'd like to spend some more time in helping you how did I get that hybridization. In the next question as I move on, I'll be explaining to you the concept of hybridization and how to get it at the gunshot methodology. The correct answer for this question is option B, minus three, hybridized state of this is sp3. I'll be explaining this concept in the next question. Mm -hmm.